Hey everyone, in this video we're going to briefly introduce what's called the hyperbolic functions. So hyperbolic functions. These are sometimes called the hyperbolic trigonometric functions. The first one we'll talk about is called sinh x. It's spelled S-I-N-H-X and it's e to the x minus e to the negative x all over 2. This is called the hyperbolic sine function. You'll notice it's like half the difference of e to the x and e to the negative x. So if you take the difference of these two, it's half of that difference. The next one is called the hyperbolic cosine or cosinh x and this one's e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. You can think of this one as the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. It's like you're adding the y values of e to the x and e to the negative x, and then you're dividing by 2. And the rest of them are pretty familiar. We have the hyperbolic tangent. If it was just tangent, it would be sine over cosine. Here, it's just the hyperbolic sine over the hyperbolic cosine. So sinh over cosinh. Then we have the reciprocals of these hyperbolic functions. So if it was the sine function, the reciprocal would be cosecant. So here it's the hyperbolic cosecant. So the hyperbolic cosecant is 1 over sinh. And the hyperbolic secant is 1 over cosinh. 1 over cosinh. And then we have the hyperbolic cotangent, which is simply 1 over the hyperbolic tangent. So since this is an intro video, let's start off with like the most basic thing, evaluating these functions. So let's say we had to evaluate the hyperbolic sine of 0. So in this case, we would just plug in 0 for all of the x's. So we would get e to the 0 minus e to the negative 0 all over 2. So e to the 0 is 1, so you would just get 1. Here you also get e to the 0, so you also get 1. So you get 1 minus 1 over 2, so you get 0 over 2, so you just get 0. So the hyperbolic sine of 0 is equal to 0. Let's do another example. Say we had to evaluate Here's a harder one, hyperbolic sine of the natural log of 2. So in this case, as before, we would look at all of the x's here and replace all of the x's with the natural log of 2. So this is e to the natural log of 2 minus e to the negative natural log of 2 over 2. Now what you can do is you can think of this as being a negative 1 in front of the natural log, and you can bring it upstairs. So this is e to the natural log of 2 minus e to the natural log of 2 to the negative 1. And it's all over 2. So this is equal to, now these cancel, so you get 2 minus 2 to the negative 1, all divided by 2. So here it's all over 2. So that's equal to 2 minus 1 half over 2. You can think of 2 as 4 halves. So if you do 4 halves minus 1 half, you get 3 halves. And it's all being divided by 2. So you have 3 halves divided by 2. That's the same thing as 3 halves times the reciprocal of 2. So 3 halves times 1 half. So at the very end, you would just get 3 fourths. 3 over 4. So the hyperbolic sine of the natural log of 2 is equal to 3 over 4. So now that you have this one, if you had to evaluate, say, the hyperbolic cosecant of the natural log of 2, well, it's just the reciprocal, right? So it would just be 4 over 3, right? You would just flip it. So this has just been a short video just to introduce you to the basic definitions of the hyperbolic functions. In the videos that follow, you'll see the derivatives, the integrals, and some identities. That's it.